Holy shit, let's talk about bad game programming. So when you start up this game for the first time, this is the screen you're greeted with. And you click it, and there's no options menu by the way. So you click this and instead of this screen, it just takes you straight to this amazing cutscene that you're going to see. Unskippable. And of course it has to be an 800 by 600 because that's how the game defaults to. Also, this music is hard-coded and I couldn't take it out. It's the FNG, sir. What the hell kind of name is Soap? things change the more they stay the same boundaries shift new players step in but power always finds a place to rest its head we fought and bled alongside the russians we should have known they'd hate us for it history is written by the victor and here i am thinking we'd won but you bring down one enemy and they find someone even worse to replace him Locations change, the rationale, the objective. Yesterday's enemies are today's recruits. Train them to fight alongside you and pray they don't eventually decide to hate you for it too. Yes, hero of the new Russia. That was he, his Kiev. Same shit, different day. You know what I'm looking for, Sergeant Foley. Keep your eyes open. Got a new badge hit in the pit today, sir. I'll send you the best I find. Got our new friend, Sergeant Foley. So not only can I not change the resolution until now, but also they don't have a developer console in this one. Which means I can't... I try to, I even try to work around, but uh... It doesn't seem to work, so we're stuck with the shit console ported. 65 FOV. Then aim down your sight at the target. 
So this time around, I actually played the game a little bit before starting this, just to make sure things work, and of course the FOV doesn't, but I'll just have to deal with it. I also found out before I took the music out, when I played the first mission, which uh, will come after this in uh, part one, that it, it actually does make a big difference when you take the music out. So what I said at the end of the last one, forget it, this series has merit after all. Is he translating? He should be looking at them. Thanks for the help, Private Allen. Now get over to the pit. General Shepard wants to see you run the course. Move out of my way. <laughs> Excuse me. What's up, dude? Welcome back to the pit. Cool idea, man. Heard General Shepard wants to pull the shooter from our unit for some special op. Anyway, he's up there in observation. Go ahead and grab a There's General Shepard. He's an important character. All right, try switching to your rifle. Good. Now switch to your sidearm again. You see how fast that was? You remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Looks very enthusiastic in teaching this. Shepard's gonna be watching. Best shooter gets to join the prima donna squad. If that's your thing. Okay, head on in. Timer starts as soon as the first target. Just like last time, I'm gonna try to do this in one one shot. This one's kind of more of a bitch than the than in the first game. There's also you got civilians now and you can't hit them or else you'll be penalized. Also you'll be penalized for not aiming down your sight when you fire. And then finally you're penalized for speed, taking too much time. Oh. See, and uh, civilians are always in a different spot every time. Oh, I thought I missed one. Come on, recommend me, veteran. <laughs> yep. Okay, head upstairs and regroup with your team, where you can go back in and run the course again. Um. Well, I pick veteran or no, just regular, of course. Well, I think the first mission starts here, and if it does, see you guys in part one. All right, head upstairs, regroup with the others. All hunter units, get to your victor. We're headed out. 